it's a Grizzly G9972Z. Couple of little nicks on the shaft right there gives us a little needle to jump around there, but other than that, you know, let's write it down as a half a thousandth and move on. Well, project for today being. Well, uh, project project for today. Uh, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to drill out that peen over right there on the end where they peened that end of that uh, plunger rod there. Uh, I, I'm going to drill that out there. Then we'll make a new one and put it right up in there, and then we'll peen it back over. You know, somebody going to say what what number of brass you going to be using on that? Uh, you know, that's it right there. You know, it's just yellow brass free machining. It's a little hard, but in this instance, the the guide part of that is long enough to where it holds it straight, and, and all of the, the pushing power on that is going down, so there's never any reason for that to have, to be under stress, more or less. That's gonna be a half inch plunger in yonder. That's for that, uh, it's got a number on it there. That's for that six horsepower, McCormick Deer and M, for what that's for.
punch that out of there. Now we'll make a new one of them. Turn that shoulder on there. Put it back up in yonder. Paint it over. That's all they are to that. The, the task at hand, and, and I was running that, that's what I was doing there when I started the camera. Just, you know, it's, it's one of them files that's got a, that's a lot of teeth on a file. This is a little file worker. You know, just knocked a little burr off that may have got there somehow. That's enough of that file work. And, and then what I've done to bring you up to date is a drill bit that would just fit in there perfect. Like it's, I can get, it goes in there so you can figure what size that is if you don't document it it's four thirty five and a half let's, let's do let's do some math here so oh yeah Get serious with it now. Okay, that's four thirty-five. Point four thirty-five and a half. So the one we took out of this is. Okay, it's 437. Let's make a note of that. That's point. And see, I think this 435 could easily be. Oh, I should have. A little more file work there. She said, what's the difference between a machinist and a job shop machinist? I said, well, this right here, you know, in a job shop, see, in a job shop, you can have a go at this thing right here with a, with a file w without having to get approval from someone. That's the difference. So, yeah, see, it, it, wants, it wants to, it went about halfway up in there, so I'm going to assume that was a good press fit at, okay, now, now's where you have to kind of think about it. That's 436 on the lower part right there at that position. That's 436 and a half. So I, I'm going to say if I turn this, This is 501, no, it's 500 thousandths, exactly. So if I turn that down on the end to match this, well, let's get it done. Let's 
pretty close. Okay, we, we, we'll have to get this indicated in pretty close. Okay, we'll give it a go. Okay, right, right there is our zero that we're working with in a clockwise, in a clockwise uh, rotation on that dial indicator right there. So, so when we come around there to that zero, then it's as far away. Let me show you. So it's getting closer over here now. Okay, right there's where we want our zero. Okay, right there is as close, that's as close as it's going to get over yonder way. So the, 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 the piece, the work piece right there needs to come this way. So I'm going to loosen up this, this one right down here, on, right there opposite. And then I'm going to come over here and tighten this one up. Okay, see our new maximum is right there, so that's that's our new zero. Yeah. So see we've got about forty one thousandths over that way. So I'm gonna loosen this note opposite right down here. And I'm going to go over here and tighten up this one over here. Let's see what we got. See, I only moved it about six thousandths. So now, see, it's 20 some, 28,000 uh, thousandths. So, and it's right between two jaws. So you have to work with one of them. Just imagine which one it is. So let's say it's this one. So I'm going to loosen this, this one up. And it was a little bit loose.
Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm okay with the thousands.